we are given a capacitor which has two dielectric layers in between its plates and the their thickness are d1 and d2 the permittivities are epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and the resistivities are rho 1 and rho 2 basically except the surface area everything is different between the two materials we need to find the surface density of extraneous charges at the boundary so only the surface density of extraneous charges so we are not talking about the induced charges here right so we are not talking about the charges which will appear because of the dielectric we are only talking about the surface charges which will develop because of the difference in resistivity so we'll start from here so we'll not we'll put the dielectric later first let's deal with the surface charge density because that appears because of the different resistivities so we'll insert the dielectric later for now let's connect the same battery which is so v is given in the problem and we need to find what is the value of sigma so without dielectric there is only extraneous charge on the boundary layer and its value is given by e2 dash minus e1 dash is equal to sigma by epsilon naught so if you have a doubt how this come how this came then just view the problem 3.165 so in just this previous problem we have discussed this in detail so e2 dash minus e1 dash is sigma by epsilon naught so this is the only way we can find the value of extraneous charge now we this is without dielectric so let's insert the dielectric now and let's say the final electric field is e1 and e2 now we know that the fields within the dielectric are related to the field outside dielectric by a factor of epsilon so this is without dielectric so if you divide this by epsilon you get the value inside the dielectric so e2 will be e2 dash by epsilon and similarly e1 will be e1 dash by epsilon 1 so we have got rid of e2 dash and e1 dash but we still have now two more variables that is e1 and e2 so we need two more equations actually three variables sigma e1 and e2 so we need yeah actually two more equations because these are two equations so one equation we'll get by equating the current on both sides so j1 is equal to j2 and j is uh, e by rho so e1 by rho1 is equal to e2 by rho2 and third equation because the potential is given so e1 d1 plus e2 d2 is equal to v so again first equation we wrote for the charge density that is e2 dash minus e1 dash is equal to sigma by epsilon second equation second and third actually so we related e1 dash and e2 dash to e1 and e2 because we want to get rid of e1 dash and e2 dash now we want to get rid of e1 and e2 so for that we will make use of the current densities so j1 is equal to j2 that gives e1 by rho1 is equal to e2 by rho2 and we need one more equation that we'll get from the potential difference that is given so that is v is equal to e1 d1 plus e2 d2 so now we have got a lot of equations we just need to solve it so let's solve that so from 1 and 2 we'll get rid of e1 dash and e2 dash and we will get this equation now this equation and fourth equation if we divide we get the ratio of e2 by e1 and that ratio is given in third so that's what we'll do so 4 by a will give the equation in which we have a ratio of e2 by e1 and from third we will put the value of e2 by e1 and we have got rid of all the variables except sigma so we get our answer sigma is equal to this